All right. The subway, one of my least favorite levels of this game. Why? Because it's a very unusual maze because there's not much here. And yet we always get lost. By always, I mean the two times we played this game on a stream. I don't hate it in the sense of, oh god, we're at the subway. It's, I get lost easily. I love that I could just keep shooting their bodies. Come on, there it is. I agree, her, her original outfit is the best one. They should have given her like full on costumes to be completely honest. Yeah, you know, can, can we uh, switch back to our original costume? How do we switch back to our original outfit? There we go. Locked. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the benches, right? So we are going to stop a little early today. It's Labor Day, wife's home. She and I want to go out and about. So we'll stop a little early than normal. But not too early. We'll make sure we get some progress done. Let's try the other... Um, Subway here. Eat fresh. Did you hear that Subway is having financial problems because they jacked up the prices of their freaking food and everyone stopped using them? I love that. Now the free market works, baby. I know, right? Like, they are the most mediocre sandwiches on the market. And they wanted to start charging, what, 13 bucks? No, $5 foot longs was perfect for the quality of food they serve. They are very inconsistent. You are never guaranteed the same quality throughout their stores. Like in and out doesn't matter. No matter what in and out I go to, the quality will always be mwah, perfect. I don't think I've ever had a bad burger at in and out What's this. There's nothing in a little occult magazine. It seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt the part. That particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories. It could only keep replaying the pain and sadness at the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn on humans to, for salvation 
or begrudge human their, uh, humans their lives. At such times, they can possess people. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or the time of the death. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. I'm sorry you don't get in and out over there. Don't yell at me. You know why? It's because they want their... The fudge was that? Heather? Heather? I did not agree to this cutscene. That was rude and mean. Yeah, it's because they want to keep their the quality of their food. You know, they don't, they don't ever freeze the meat, so they have to get the refrigerated meat to their locations at a proper time. Uh, oh lord. Okay, now where am I going? So we got a cute little cutscene. We got our health drink. Uh, I think there's just a wall back there. I don't think we've got upstairs in this area. What we have, shoot. Ah. Which path do we take? We need the thing that breaks the lock. the dog sound wet Bergen Street you've been here before god dang it now I can't cross the tracks without dying right the moment you jump down you get killed or am I misremembering? There is a grace period. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hello, Zoe. Try to remember which path we got across.
Well, we saved so we can afford a few subway deaths. Let's see here. That was embarrassing. Subway, subway. There's an indication though of where we're supposed to go, right? All right let's try platform four. Yeah, you just don't jump willy-nilly in front of subway cars. Well, this one had dogs here, too. I think it's hazelnut. Or hazel. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's right. Oh, you gotta run through the tunnel, you're right. I remember. Ooh, we sneezy today. All right, this is... That solves that question. This is the way we came in through. through. This is where we started, right? Pretty sure it is. Let's go through the turnstile here. Um, okay. I think platform three is where we're supposed to go. Three just sounds like a number that sounds important, right? Right. 
All right, we had dogs here. This might have been it. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get to the other side of that platform right there, right? Which armor? Oh, nice. Try platform one. North end. Okay, let's try this. Oh, nice. So you're playing what? You're still continuing Portrait of Ruin right now? All right, here's another dog room. Oh, here we go. This is where the subway tracks are. Okay. I don't think we fully explored this spot yet. Yeah, I think I, was, I yeah I never crossed the grating because I didn't realize it was a floor the other day. I was too paranoid because we didn't have a safe spot at the time. Okay. The fudge was that noise? Hey guys, let's go into the subway. That's deeper inside the subway. Nutcracker. It's Cracker Nuts. All right, that should be where we... response nice make sure we don't miss anything that's further back here we're good to go all right we got the nutcracker that's what we need for the nuts I like that little pun There's the nutcracker. Oops. Oopsie. Yeah, I need to check my my libraries. I thought I got the advanced collection already, but I don't think I also don't think I did. I need to pick up the advanced collection. And then I'll pick up the DS collection.
Gozer? I swear there was something in my refrigerator and it said Zool. Should we go downstairs first or the subway car? It's a birthday present! The answer to that question. We actually haven't heard the radio in a while. That is the appropriate response. I'm sorry, I, I, I've already used that joke, but I mean, come on, look at that thing. There's a song you like called There Is No Zool, Only Dana. I love that somebody made that a thing. Who just throws garbage everywhere? Bergen Street. Good old Bergen Street. Is that a dog or a cancer? The dog. Either I suck at shooting it, or I can't reach it from here. Is this the platform where I can crawl across? No, I don't think so. Oh wait, there's the door. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Found the door. Let's save first. What? Are you not confident in your abilities to cross the railroad tracks? No. One hit kill deserves a save. Ugh, even if it takes us all the way back upstairs. Damn it. He runs so slow. It's okay though, we love her. I 
I do love if you walk over a dead animal, you can see your footprints in the in the ground. Good attention to detail. Yes, yes, yes. Big scary dog. Go, 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 go. Oh! Wrong way. That's why we saved everybody. Silent Hill 2, we beat the whole game without dying once except to when our batteries died. Silent Hill 3, Subway Squish, every time, a Heather sandwich. You know, because ground, Heather, Subway, Squish. I'm sorry, I'll, 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 I'll put myself out. What is one of your uh, favorite lines? Oh, two corpses, everyone, everything's fine. God, I love, I love Clue. You know when they say you can't remake, you know, they won't make a movie like that anymore? They're talking about Clue. I made it, okay. I was going to get angry for a second. I was like, come on. I made it. I was spamming the button. One of these doors has to be open, but which one was it? Clue was smart, Clue was witty, Clue was a fantastically written. The cast was flawless. There's the door. Yay, subway's done, finally, god dang it. Come on, Heather, haunted subway's fine. She's off on an adventure. I hope that symbol doesn't mean a curse. I feel like I might have missed like an e healing item or something on the other side of the platform. But I think that we're okay. Could you imagine if we're on the subway and you just see something like clinging to the side of the subway through the windows? It doesn't do anything, but it's just looking at you. That'd be terrifying.
That was a big one too. That was one of the mamas. They look like monsters to you, Heather? She's just blowing away some poor homeless people inside the subway. I love that my controller is actually vibrating to the beat of the subway. Just that much little more immersion. I also like that the monsters make noises before you hear them on the radio. Right in his crotch. Absolutely beautiful. Give him a good kick in the face for good measure, Heather. There's a magazine on the floor. Does not look useful at all. I should watch Clue this weekend. What are you, Wadsworth? I'm the butler, sir. And what is it you do? I buttle. You lure men to their death like a spider to flies. Flies are where a man is most vulnerable. That's right. You have no idea how long that fly joke took for me to get what she meant. Yes, you did. Mrs. White had some fantastic flames, flames on on the side of my f I side of my face. He heaving. Oh no! Flush tunnels. Heather does not approve of flush tunnels. I don't approve of flush tunnels. I definitely don't approve of giant door of death. being a victim. Are you talking about those rooms that um, either drain your health or curse you? Like the one room with the uh, mirror? I think this tunnel was a lot further along than it is. I thought this was further in the game. 
I hope there's no death rooms down here. Ah! The Maul! A great weapon, but is so god dang slow, it might as well be useless. What? I sped through that. Why did it laugh at me? Ah, oh, damn it. Why did I speed through the text? All right, what's down here? Oh, the mama. I saw him. Where'd he go? Why industrial noises? What's she looking at? Uh, industrial noises. I hear the spinners. make this sound design for real Sound. I don't even know where the hell I am in the sewer. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. This is a big ass long tunnel of doom. And there's singing. Always go towards the singing. Sphincter! Oh, 
Oh, the UFO ending? Yeah, what is it? You have to kill 31 enemies with a heather beam. Something like that. We're definitely going to go for UFO ending if we uh, get the beam after this playthrough. 120%. We want UFO. Oh, God. Everything in here wants to be dead and I can't see anything. Must be rusted shut, okay. Do I have a map of this area? What, my love? You couldn't draw one like James did in the labyrinth? All right, so you need the rust tool or something. Go down the other hallway. Handgun bullets, shotgun bullets. Filled with junk. Somebody's stuff. Somebody's stuff. Kerosene. We need a container, huh? What is she looking at? Nice. Uh, what the hell can we use as a container? Hell, I'd use a freaking hard hat. This is where we play. What areas did we miss by mistake? This has to be drained, right? Yeah. Isn't there a boss down here? Some psychopath in the sewer. There is a boss down here, isn't there? Okay, what's up, bud? Just getting lost in the labyrinth. Damn it. There's so much of the sewers that we kind of just like did not bother exploring. Ooh, camping. How was that?
All right. Which way did we come in through? No, that, that was the only path through here, wasn't there? Yeah, that's just a hole of death. Probably kill us if we jump down. We got high with our grandmother, that's awesome. Well, before we end up going back to where we started. That's right, it's the wine bottle that we're looking for. It's by some garbage. We might have we might have completely ignored it by mistake. Oh, we let one live. Let's remedy that. Got a door here. Shotgun shells. How are the s'mores? S'mores are amazing. All right, we're looking for a dead end with refuge. We found lots of that, but... Uh, there it is. body was crushed by something heavy all right small detour but it's okay I was like make sure we don't get ambushed from the side there That heather beam is 100% ours this time. <laughs> S'mores are delicious. Okay, we're gonna get some kerosene, turn on the engine, drain the pool. Serpentine, Heather! Serpentine! Beautiful! Which path was it? Gotta look for the bodies. The path of the bodies. Yep. Yeah, head towards the banging door. That makes me feel good. We go to the door, we go to this hallway first, get the kerosene. Oil filled bottles. So what should our primary enemy be in Silent Hill 3? 
Walking sphincters. How many? All of them! There's one more, I hear them. I hear the little bastard's little footprints. You know, James should consider himself lucky that he only dealt with, like, nurses and s flesh jackets, you know? Because Heather's dealing with some crap. Let's see here, white bottle. Draining switch. Heather uses draining switch. Super effective. A corpse just rises out of the water and looks at us. I think this is a boss battle. Coming up. It's like something in the water, right? Oh, it's all wet and gross and sloppy. Oh, it's so sloppy and wet. Yeah, that's not ominous. That felt like a Resident Evil trap. Like, if you shoot the water, you know what I'm saying? Like, a fish will jump out and eat you. I call those the mamas it just like seems like that's what I should call them and the other ones are the babies sewer level aka are we going the right direction level Oh, there he is. Weird bondage crocodile man. Ah, oh, such good use of visuals. Now that's a lot of garbage. Where the hell did it come from? Ampule. Air dryer. I like how dark this puzzle is. I also like that Bondage Crocodile's gone. Again, great, you know, visuals. A good way to build suspense. Like, oh, great, whatever that was in the water's gone now. Wonderful.
Sounds like some babies and a mama. Let them come to me. God, just seeing that thing in the shadows is terrifying. You know, just that lurching, lunging, fleshy, bulgy, wolgy thing. Oh, thank God. Danger, keep out. So, by the way, everybody, we are streaming at 64 uh, kbps right now, bit rate, 6400 bit rate, uh, when we usually average like 1500. What's she staring at? The door. So that's awesome. All right, blood pool. Yeah, we're not touching that with a 10 foot pole. She's like, I've seen anime. Thank God I thought of this first. Do you think Heather watches anime? Bet you she does. Oh, examine the water, examine the water. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm going back, I'm going back. The steel pipe thing. What was it that you dropped? Was it this precious gold pipe? No. Well, was it this magnificent silver pipe? No. Perhaps it was only this filthy steel pipe that you dropped. Yes. Oh, I have finally found a truly honest man. I'm a little girl. Both the gold pipe and the silver pipe to keep. Yay! Thank you, Fighting. I was trying to remember where that was. For some reason, I feel like this level is a lot further in the game than it really is. Okay, which direction? Is there some reason not to go in the water? Oh, you little bastard. I hear you. I, I like how I'm looking like this, as if that would help me. God, I hate you. I hate the sounds you make. I hate how you look. I'm hunting you down, punk.
sharks. This is like my revenge for every like terrifying moment throughout the first time, last time we played this game. And it's very satisfying. So I was, um, don't ask me why, I can't remember, but I was watching clips of the show ER. And so there's an episode where they're trying to helicopter somebody out to another hospital and a doctor, like their paperwork gets blown away. So he picks, bends down, picks it up and gets his arm chopped off by the helicopter. Okay. I was like, oh, okay, that just happened. You know, he didn't pay attention to the giant spinning blade two feet in front of him, right? Well, I found out that later on, they're sending out another person on a helicopter. He sees the helicopter and goes, hell no, goes back downstairs, back to the, you know, courtyard. The helicopter crashes and lands on him, killing him. So why are there helicopter accidents? I remember this area. Yeah, so what did this guy do to piss off the helicopter gods? Gets his arm chopped off by a helicopter, a helicopter crashes on him, all a final destination. Great. Well, what do we do? We go up. Tell me when we get to the 50th floor, I'm gonna throw up. You know, all this poor girl wants to do is go home. Okay, that is the game and not somebody on my roof. So let me ask stream this. What do you think is the primary enemy of Silent Hill 3? In the first game, the primary enemy would be the uh, straight, fleshy straight jackets. Uh, would you say it's the sphincters or the Okay, so you thought that was your house too. Mate, the sound design in this game is so good. It's like, I know that's probably the game making the thumping noise, but I double checked just in case. No, 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 I mean like, what's the Goomba of this game? Is it the dogs or the purple people eaters? You know, the primary Goomba. Goomba. Stand tall. Be proud. Go, Goomba! You know what you said. I love you. I stand by what I said. 
Well, Claudia's going to have a bad time because I want to use an infinite machine gun on her, and that's going to be fun as hell. It's so hard to aim! <laughs> Smirky says the dogs. Did you, all, did you all see what, um, I think it was one of the Silent Hill directors or something, he, he snapped back at, like, some people trying to make controversy about Silent they're, like, trying to say how Silent Hill 3 is a bad game, they're, like, if she's in, uh, if she's in Silent Hill in the start of the game, why is there a red sun? What's causing the red light? And, like, one of the directors was like, tell me you've never played Silent Hill 3 without telling me you've never played Silent Hill 3, something like that. Because she's not in Silent Hill yet. Damn it. If there's no sun in Silent Hill, why is there sun at the start of Silent Hill 3? It's not in. Dogs. See, that's what happens when people just watch video uh, essays all day of games instead of playing them. Make sure we didn't miss anything on this floor. Don't you respawn, doggies. Good boys. Yeah, this is the dance studio. I remember this level. You should stream some spooky games on Discord. Nice, map is ours. All right, we need like the screwdriver or something. What spooky games have you been... Oh, you showed me some of them, right, Smirk? On our, on our Discord, you showed us like a huge screenshot. All right. I like that she actually writes notes. James is like, whatever. I'll make a circle. But Heather's like, nope, I want to know exactly where I'm going. I got a map of the building from Mr. Harris. I'm feeling safer now that we got more health items. I think we need a screwdriver. Excuse me for the yawn, I apologize. There should be a dance room full of cancers in here somewhere. I remember that.
This is the way we came in, isn't it? We just did a circle. Oh, maybe not. No, we did. Oh, bastards came back, though. Screw you guys. Aiming out there is awful. What the hell is Squirrel Stapler? mannequins the only mannequin with its head there's something weird about the headless ones like they could still see me or something ick i know it's just an inanimate object but i'm still a little nervous afraid even i'd be afraid i wouldn't want to be in this room especially when it does that this is blood I like how the game's like, there's no mechanical reason for this to happen. You don't get an item or anything. No, we're just going to mess with you. There's an enemy in Portraits of... Uh, where am I going? I completely skipped over the big ass dance room. Oh! Hello, oh, puppers! Interesting. If we leave the level, they respawn. Squirrel stapler is a game where you hunt squirrels and staple them. What the freaking hell? Can't see. Ah, cancer! Catch your breath, my love. Okay. Is there a purpose to this room or? Wait, what? There has to be something in here, right? Yeah, I had to, I had to actually allow that. Is this room just a red herring? something
I have not heard of Pony Factory, no. Don't give me the eyeball emoji, damn it. I start wrapping up the game soon once we get through this area. How do you know which door to go into? It's always the one that makes a big creaky noise of death. Repressor of memories. I'm an old school horror game fan. I had like this big drop off in horror games when they all started wanting to mimic Resident Evil 4. Katana! Don't like the low camera angle. Makes me nervous. Yeah, I was really into horror games, and then $5,000, people are weird. Now this is a calm, relaxing picture of a mountain, nice and simple. Too big to be a vase. All right, screwdriver acquired. Auto parts. Sounds like there's a big one here too. Maybe. There we go, the jack. I was like, there has to be another reason to explore this area. You got the jack. We got the katana and the jack. Where the hell are we? Okay, we got a bunch of rooms we didn't get to explore yet. I doubt there's anything in them, but, oh. Sure. I doubt there's anything in these rooms. There was. And it sucked. Oh, 
All right, let's open the drawer and get on out of here. And which item hunt is that fighting? The Dodo. Only spawn sometimes in a very specific room, on a very specific occasion, on a very specific hour. Remember the dodo? Do 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 do. And go go the dodo. Okay. Up. Where to next? You know, I was watching clips of all the New Tunes cartoons recently, and you sometimes forget how unhinged Looney Tunes can be. If you don't watch it. Like, Looney Tunes is amazing. I think I appreciate Looney Tunes now old, as an older person than I do when I was a child. God dang it. What the hell do we use the rope for? Does anyone remember? Elevator, that's right. That's right, I remember now. We use the jack to pry open the elevator, use the rope to go down the elevator. I'm a smart cookie. S M R T, I mean S M R A T. So, true story in that Simpsons episode, when Dan Castanella goes, I am so smart, S M R T, I mean S M A R T, that was an actual blooper. 
He did not mean to misspell the word smart, but they kept it in. All right. You hear about on the commentary. Also fun trivia about The Simpsons, the Tamako episode is actually based off a real college science project that one of the writers did. One of the writers actually created Tamako. He crossbred tomatoes and tobacco. He goes, it was nothing like the way it shows up in the show, but he was able to do it successfully. Not like the latest fad or anything, is it? You know, there's a halo of the sun. Okay, let's I get through this area. Echo, echo, echo. Just the bed. Turkey. Creepy door. That's okay. Lamp hoods and flower vases. Underneath are more display items. No need to worry about this right now. It's just for display, cannot really be used. Bathtub, there's dark red stains on the bottom. Cracked flower vase, is this supposed to be on sale too? Nothing could go wrong. Oh, I knew it. Heather. Game over. Yeah, I recommend if you ever get Simpsons on DVD. Being invaded by the other world. And a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. You should definitely listen to the commentary. The commentary is rather fascinating on the Simpsons DVDs. Like probably some of the best commentary. Again. Poor Heather, somebody hug her. Did she do this too? Ooh, how's the commentary for Alien? Oh, we're in this part of the game. Is this where the bondage dogs show up? Yep! If you want a great commentary, listen to Scooby-Doo, the live action Scooby-Doo, because Matthew Lillard is hilarious. Find the Holy One, kill her. Okay, I can't do this anymore, hold on. Uh. 
Oh, the room is just too hot. Yeah, so throughout the whole... Throughout the whole commentary of the live-action Scooby-Doo movie, all Matthew Lillard does is constantly say, Man, that was a great performance by me. I did a great job with that scene. Okay, y'all. Uh, this is actually a very good place to 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 end it for today. Because we got I gotta get going. We'll be back tomorrow though for a full stream. Uh we're we're doing pretty damn good, I like to think. I think we're making some good time. We already made it through the to the mental institution, got through the sewers, got through the subway. Got through the construction uh, yard. Not bad, I like to think. Uh, thank you, Fighting. Thank you, Zoe. And thank you, Smirky Trick, for joining us today. Um, let's go raid somebody. Because that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to meet people and raid. Anybody playing Silent Hill today? Let's find out. Let's see here. Who's playing Silent Hill right now? Nobody there. What about Silent Hill 2? I don't want to do the grind. Like the difference you? between the two comments is crazy. Of like the people that Who are you? Why, why do I have your audio? There we go. Must have clicked on someone. Oh my god. Why is it playing the audio? There, there's the pause. All right, let's see here. We got someone here named Das Original Rod Holy. Sure, let's go raid Rod Holy. This guy seems cool. This to link. See you guys. Raid. Rod. Holy. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Let's do this. You have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Danke für den Follow. Bye, da lassen. Bye, everyone. Ich muss die Sounds unbedingt leiser drehen. Ey, was sag ich krass aus?